Hello everyone, welcome back to some more World of Warships! Today I thought we'd be mixing things up a bit, I'm gonna show you two battles. One in the Bliskovica and one in the Anshan over here. I'm gonna be taking a bit of a look at how you should play gunboats. Which is the term that I like to use for destroyers that basically rely on their guns. Like the Bliskovica, seven guns. You lose turrets awfully often, but got seven guns compared to well the kamikaze's got four and they're not very good they're japanese guns they still work of course and i like using my kamikaze the wrong way and just firing away anyway but the the kamikaze can afford to rely on its torpedoes it's got seven kilometer range six kilometer detectability range like the Kamikaze does not need its guns. The Bliskovica detectable at 7.5. I thought it was 7.4 earlier. Did they change the premium camouflage? No, they didn't. Weird. Anyway, that has 8 km torpedo range, so you have 500 meters to wiggle around in. If the enemy ship starts turning towards you or away from you, those torpedoes will miss and you will either get spotted or get nothing. So, yeah, th those rely a lot more on their torpedoes. This is also somewhat applicable to American destroyers, but I haven't really sailed American destroyers in the tech tree past the Nicholas. And I've sailed the Nicholas like a few months ago by now. But I am thinking about taking a general look at destroyers and being like, okay, here's a guide on how to sail American. Here's a guide how to sail the uh, the Japanese destroyers, which rely more on their torpedoes. And eventually, if I ever grind up the Russian destroyer line, an official guide on how to sail Russian destroyers, which will probably be fairly similar to the American one, but still. So, let me know in the comments down below how you feel about that. Right now, I've got a clip for you lined up with the Bliskovica. Let's go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, this is gonna be fun. Gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna take out the Bliskovica over to the left here. Action stations. Still like seeing this boat. Graphics feel a little different, but I think that's just me. Yeah. It's a nice little boat to look at. Looks a lot better than my recent attempt at a destroying from the depths, I can tell you that much. But then again, that doesn't really take much, does it? One day I'll be able to build prettier boats. Until then, we're gonna just pre-select narrow spread. We're gonna try and chew up the the Nicholas, maybe the Sims as well. And then we're gonna torpedo away. Should be a lot of fun if done correctly. Now thankfully I'm not a complete idiot when it comes to destroyers, so this should be a lot of fun. Fun to watch as well, but Fun to play is also a priority. A little Polish eagle on the back there. Just gonna try and round the island as narrowly as we can. Because otherwise we might get in trouble if there are a lot of enemy ships on the other side. And at present we do not know. I guess we do now. Enemy force detected. There's the Nikki. Oh boy, we're in for a treat, boys. Just gonna make sure we don't run aground, that's all. Come on, get those guns around. There we go, that's firepower right there. We didn't manage to clip him, but that's okay. Activate smoke. Jesus, 
Jesus Christ, we're taking a pounding. Oh, Nikki, you seem to be in a in an awful spot of trouble there. Seems like you need to pay a visit to Dr. Davy Jones in his locker. There we go, that's one of them down. I accidentally run myself aground here. Unfortunate, but oh well. We have got a lot of enemies here. Luckily that for attacker was clever enough to see this coming and he is over here to help us. Alright, we just got a lead in chat, the Mahan is in the middle. We're still on half health, so no reason to shy away from a fight just yet, mind you. We're gonna go in, we're gonna kill that Mahan as well. Let's try and get a hat trick here. Alright, he's over there in the middle. He just got pinged by our teammates. That's Haru, he's no chance of fighting him off on his own. Which is where we come in, of course. Activate the speed boost. He's l trying to lure him, apparently, which is working out great. So, we are gonna cut through the middle here. He's already taken a fair pounding. There's no way he's gonna live. Just need to get there as quickly as we can. The third destroyer is on the right, on the uh, right side of the map from our spawn. And there we go. He's trying to, to hide and run away. We're not gonna let him do that, of course. That would be silly. Yep, there we are. His engine is knocked out as well, so we are gaining at him, on him at the moment. He's working out better than expected. Might be able to actually get some shots on him. There's the Oba. Let's try and avoid him if we can. For prosperity's sake. And uh, we'll try some shots. They're landing closer than a... Oh, we actually got a hit. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna send him to Davy Jones as well. Obviously, it's not busy enough down there. Oh, we got another hit. Just let him know that we're still watching. And right now, he is sort of a priority. Because if we can kill him, that means he won't be attacking any of our battleships. We get another hit. Just keep wobbling the ship around so we avoid return fire if possible. There we go. Not that that was particularly hard to dodge or anything, but... Still nice to make sure that we do. Get lit up by planes temporarily, which is not great. The Sims over there is taking a right pounding as well. Mahan seems to have disappeared for now. There's a Königsberg there. Sims is getting closer. There's a ship sinking in the background, which is always a good sight. Pretty soon that Mahan is gonna... ...get spotted again, hopefully by us. We'll probably take a ton of fire from that Königsberg. He's actually coming into torpedo range. Would be great if we can avoid getting detected by him.
That's some hand spotting us. Or the Sims. That's also a possibility. Let's get the Sims first then. We're actually in a position where we can get guns on target here. Of course, I miss horribly with most of them. Oh, we do get a hit. Incapacitated something, that's always nice to see. We do have the health advantage right now, and he's taking fire from multiple teammates as well. Loser steering, fortunately, but... Get some more shots in there, come on! Oh, he's run aground, he's dead. Come on, get the... Thank you! Now we're in trouble! We sunk an enemy destroyer. I mean, admittedly, so are they. Just taking out both of their destroyers. There's still one left. The Mahan. There he is. Sneaky bugger. Thought you were gonna get away? I don't think so. Oh, can we get the kill? Yes, we can! Oh my god! Enemy destroyer found my job is done here! That went better than expected. I was like, yeah, we'll make a video about gunboats. Trying to show how they take out destroyers. What can I say? Mission bloody accomplished. Let's get some victory torpedoes on that Arpeggio Congo, I guess. The big, slow, stupid battleship. Now I am beaching myself here on purpose. Otherwise, we're actually getting within detection range of the Congo. 7.4 is the magical number. The Bliskovice is not great for torpedoes, not like Japanese destroyers. God, those are a league of their own. Yeah, he's turning, so we're gonna miss those, but that's okay. There is literally no rush. We have got the points lead. We have got everything in our favor right now. And if all it takes is missing some torpedoes, then I have no problem with that. None at all. Let's try and see if we can get that York as well. Admittedly, it's going to be pushing our luck a little, but... Why the hell not, right? We've got eight shots fly, uh, seven at shots flying at him, so who knows? Might be able to tickle him a bit. I'll be aware that we can get fire incoming from the rear as well. That York is probably not very happy with me right now. Ah, oh, he's a bit distracted. That's okay. We'll take care of that. There we go! He's down as well. Let's try and get that Miyoko as well for a... Kraken Unleashed, shall we? Oh, there we go. He is not our kill to take, unfortunately, but... No complaints here! I've been having a sterling match all day. Well been a great match so far so figure better not complain no getting that Congo would be ideal nope oh well four kills bloody brilliant match either way Tell the team they did a good match. I mean, the team has to be complimented here. We nearly didn't lose anyone.
It was a slaughter. A beautiful one, but still a slaughter. Let's see, can I get the kill on that Fuso? That would be amazing to end the battle with. Although I'm not expecting it really. We set him on fire, so that's gonna be ticking damage for us. He's gonna be turning his guns at us. Bastard. In that case, I'll send you some torpedoes to chow on. He's burning nicely, that's for sure. Ow. Torpedoes are not looking very accurate, that is okay. Yeah, they missed. It's gonna be riding the border now like a little baby. I have no respect for people that do this. Oh, we've got some torpedoes that are accurate! Oh, wow, got some hits. There we go, lovely match! That was actually the first match I've played in a couple of days. And I love the result. <laughs> right, let's take a look at the Anshan, the other gunboat that we're going to be taking a look at this video. There we go, roughly same lineup, except this time we're in the Anshan on another map. That's all fine. General quarters. Now one of the downsides of the gunboats, of course, is that they get spotted rather easily. Anshan, 7 kilometers. Bliskovica, 7.4. This has got some beautiful guns on it, though. I really like the gun sound as well. It's like the sneezing dragon. <laughs> Which is something I came up with while sailing, and I cannot forget it now. It doesn't really have any reason. It just reminded me of sneezing and seeing how this is a Chinese ship with a little dragon pick... Uh, I believe it has Dragon Picture Report, if I remember correctly, or at least something akin to that. And one day it just entered my mind like, this thing sounds like a sneezing dragon, and then cannot, uh, cannot forget it anymore. It's amazing. But yeah, I uh, was a bit surprised that the Bliskovica match went so well. I figured, hey, why not do a quote-unquote special on destroyer gunboats? Seeing uh, that I only needed three more destroyer kills for the Miyoko mission, part one. Now I need to set 300 fires for part two, and that's gonna probably take a day or two. And I'm still looking to actually get the Miyoko before the 28th. It's now the 22nd, I believe, or 23rd already. Time flies when you're having fun. And I still want to get it, of course, and do a video on it. I mean, it's a cruiser, not a battleship, so it's not going to be as annoying to get a good game in it as the uh, Arpeggio Congo was. I mean, it's a good ship, but I can't battleship. <laughs> it is that simple. I'm more of a destroyer and cruiser captain, as you might have noticed. Because of this video being about gunboat destroyers and all that. Only premium ones for today. I might do a special on... Yeah, I might do a little tactics video on how to do gunboat destroy as well. Like Americans. Uh, most of the Russians as well. Like the Tashkent and other things like that. They just chew up and ranked. Oh, there's a Cleveland there. He's particularly vulnerable. There's going to be a Nicholas torpedoing him soon. If he's not careful. Please don't be careful. <laughs> oh, he might be coming our way, yeah. There's a kamikaze. Alright, that just leaves two unaccounted for. Looks like we're gonna get torpedoes on this Cleveland. There 
There we go, just throw them out there, might as well. Don't think he's gonna sail into the middle, but if he does, that would be great. We've got a Aoba coming in from there. I'm probably gonna give it a 180 and maybe see. Ooh, there's another kamikaze over there. Naturally, a platoon, so it makes sense for them to stick together. This might not end up going very well. Although we have land between us and the Cleveland right now, so we're not gonna get detected by this little stunt. Good thing, too. So we're not going to get torpedoes away before he clears the corner there. Now we've got that Aoba incoming over there as well, so we've got to keep that in mind. Cleveland's detecting us now for just a short period. There we go, we are off the radar again. Almost tempted to fire, but the Aoba might see us. Get a couple shots off anyway. Do a tiny amount of damage, nothing major, but that is because we are not needed over here, but elsewhere, near those kamikazes. Aoba is putting shots at us, but he's not having much luck. We are no longer detected as well, so we pretty much got away with that. Our team is obviously retreating from the right because there's invisible destroyers over there that are trying to torpedo them. We don't, it would not make sense if they tried to hang in there. There's also a New Mexico, York, another cruiser over there. Cleveland's about to die. Fuso is AFK, unfortunately, so we're not going to have any backup from him. Which is pretty crucial, considering the fact that there's a New Mexico coming our way. We are detected by one of the kamikazes, so... Eyes wide. This is going to get nasty. Sneeze in his direction. Get some good hits. There we go. Send him running. Torpedoes direct front. Torpedoes to port. I think he's got the faster torpedo upgrade with his commander that they introduced recently. Get some more shots in. There we go. She might not have the firepower of the Bliskovich, but she can bloody well injure them. There we go, there's the first kamikaze gone. We sunk an enemy destroyer. The second one is no doubt keep keeping us spotted as we speak. Because they are not in detection range. Engine boost deactivated. Well we did our job, that's for sure. This is one of the downsides of having a higher detectability range. That oh, we just lost visual. That's good. But now we have no idea where that our destroyer is. And either he's behind the island over there, or he's behind the island over there. Neither of which are very flattering thoughts. I think he might be in this direction. Actually, I mean, the fact that he is keeping us spotted is not making me feel very happy right now. But we dodge and swerve as best we can. Jesus Christ, where the hell is that guy? Oh, there's a popping smoke. smoke generator He's getting picked apart here right now. Avoid most of the fire, he's firing armor piercing. Really wish my team was still somewhat backing me up, but no, they all seem to have pulled away for no reason. Omega 3rd, ah, Kamikaze is south, there, that's it. Not north, but south. Yeah, he just sank someone over there, that is a lack of situational awareness on my part. 
Good thing I picked it up in time. Also, while we're here, you are PMG. You are reported for being a boss. That kamikaze is no doubt behind the island over there somewhere. Or not even behind the island. Either way, he's probably not gonna be over there after he took out someone over there. Yes, directions. It all makes lovely amounts of sense. That is my smoke, not his. Gotta keep that in mind. Keep swerving for torpedoes. Really wish that. Oh! We got a visual, that's good. And he knows he spotted. Sneeze in his direction. Jesus Christ. Well, we lost a turret, unfortunately. Let's call for assistance. He's got to sail the border, isn't he? Little bugger. Fortunately for him, that does make him awfully predictable. Get some torpedoes off. It's not the ideal thing you should be focusing on in a gunboat, but... Oh, look at that! How do you like them apples, eh? His unlucky crit saved us from a torpedo. The ship is on fire. Somewhere over there. Solved, sir. Oh, there! I've got a hit! He's obviously moving, of course. We are no longer detected. That's good! Now I'm a... Okay, what? Where... The problem for him is, I am much better with these guns than he is with his. There we go. I mean, I was a little overconfident in saying that, but it proved to be true. Proved to be true. So, <sighs> really wish that goddamn Fuso had his uh, pull his act together and actually got in the fight. That's the Cleveland. I still want to kill that kamikaze. He's on my short list. I like to tend to focus on killing destroyers when I'm sending gunboats. Just because I know that I have the overwhelming firepower. Torpedoes, direct front. Speculative torpedoes. torpedoes. Not impressed. Not a threat. Our battleship up there is boned. We're gonna lose a few so soon enough. Not connected. Not my problem. Well, technically it is because we're now a player down. What's the best thing to do in a situation like this? Well, the kamikaze just reappeared, so we might as well take some shots on that New Mexico. Right, now that Cleveland's gonna think he's invited. You're not! Go away! We can 
get him on fire or something, or just get a couple hits. That would get him off my back. Also, that kamikaze is over there, and he's looking very... Oh, that might be the... End of the Cleveland there. There we go, Cleveland is gone. Next. Hello, kamikaze. You tried to run, but you're not going to get away this time. Now, I know he has torpedo range on me, so that's annoying. Managed to avoid his fire. Get another shot in on him. That one fell a little short, unfortunately. Lose another bloody main turret. What the hell's going on? Come on, I can take him out. Oh crap, there's a metal ship coming. Smoke generator started. Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes to port. Come on! Fuck! Lucky bastard. Oh well. Finally, they died. Nothing good to say about this team, at all. No, that made me feel miserable. But I did my part. Nearly got that kamikaze, although he got rather lucky. Ever since this freaking update came out, they keep resetting my compact carousel. It annoys the hell out of me. But anyway, that was a quick look at some of the premium gunboats uh, I have available right now the Bliskovica and the Sneezing Dragon, the Anshan. If you've liked this video, then please do leave a like down below. It shows me that World of Warships is a series you wish to see continued. Leave a comment down below if you have anything to say. And until next time, have a good one, folks.